Fun fact, at one point in time, we had 2% of the total volume of Nissan Z sold in this shop. You wanna know why? Cause Nissan only makes a hundred of them a month. And we had one right there before I sold it. And one right here that we're working on right now, which means we're talking about some car parts that are going on that Nissan Z. And you can't get away with a Nissan Z without upgrading the exhaust because it sounds terrible from stock. What I'm looking at right here is a Borla S-type catback exhaust that I wanted to show you guys so that you can understand exactly what you're jumping into if you're looking to buy this one. Now this one specifically is a $2,000 exhaust. And unfortunately, when you're buying a new car, that means you're gonna be spending a little bit more money on pretty much any aftermarket part you can possibly find until volume finally starts to get into the market. But with that being said, let's unbox this thing because for two grand, you know, you might be like, wow, that's a little bit expensive. But when you see this free hat that you get, it makes it all worth it. Now, the thing with the Borla catback exhaust is that this is not a valved system. This is essentially, you just install it and you're good to go. And because this is a catback system, you actually get to maintain your sanity after after you've installed the part because when you have to play with downpipes on a Nissan Z, you might as well just sit down, go into a ball and start crying. There's a couple things about the Borla exhaust to keep in mind. One, it's a two and a half inch exhaust system with four and a half inch exhaust tips. You might think that's big, but in all honesty, the cutouts for the rear bumper are massive. So having a four to four and a half inch exhaust tip is actually what I would recommend. These ones specifically are just a nice polished finish, which I think looks pretty killer. And the best part about it is that the tips are actually already put on the system. There's this new thing nowadays where aftermarket exhaust companies are like making you put the exhaust tips on and, and if you got four of them, it's pretty much like playing Tetris, which can be super annoying. You're pretty much guaranteed that these are going to mount correctly. They're gonna look good. You won't have to deal with any sort of weird kinks in this. The next thing I'll say that looks a little uncommon on the Borla offering compared to maybe some of the competition is this little piece here. If you look at it, it kind of looks I don't really know how to explain it, but what they're saying is that this is patented technology. It's a polyphonic harmonizer is what I think they're trying to call this thing. But essentially when you have gases going through an exhaust, how it reverberates inside the metal along with the firing order of the engine is usually what determines the exhaust note that you get. You can put things in place in the exhaust to play around with it to get a different kind of exhaust note, but ultimately those are small changes to a very big thing that you hear in your ear. This essentially helps harmonize it. So you don't have anything that's in terms of like a rumble or a drone at low RPMs, but when you're actually getting on it, it still sounds fantastic. Now Borla has invested a ton of money in trying to make their tubes sound better. And at the end of the day, gases go through a tube, how it comes out is the sound. This helps with making it have less drone. Does that make sense? Good, because it's a little funky to look at. $2,000, like I said before, is a little bit of an expensive price point. So it's not gonna be necessarily for everyone, but we put in another exhaust on another Nissan Z, and it's about double the price. So I think in terms of if you're looking to modify a Nissan Z, $2,000 for a catback is probably gonna be pretty normal. You get everything that you need to install the exhaust right out of the box. You got your Borla hat, you can put that on while you're nice and happy. Another thing that might be important to you, if you are interested in warranty information is that Borla offers like a million mile warranty on their catback exhaust, almost all of their products. And in addition to this, you get a nice burnt out installation guide. The best thing about it, colored instructions. This is actually very nice. I will always say, this is the thing with aftermarket car parts, because if you wanna mod your car, you can mod it over at martiniworks.com. We see a ton of really fantastic products, products that we even promote, and they have by far the worst installation guides known to man. And if you don't know how to install it previously, that eight hour work job that you wanted to do on a Friday ends up being a five day job in your garage with you crying. Borla offers a lot of their installation guides in good, what I would call, comprehensive English, which is actually really freaking nice when you're working on a car that you may not have a whole lot of experience on. Now, the good news is, I hate to say it, but tried and true, we've done a lot of stuff on the Nissan Z. We've done intakes, we've done exhaust, we've done downpipes, wheels, tire suspension, so we're pretty familiar with this platform as it sits right now. We're gonna get this thing put on this car today so that you can get a little bit of an exhaust clip and you can decide if it's right for you. But if you are looking for this Borla S-style catback for your Nissan Z, you can pick it up over at martiniworks.com. Overall, very impressed with the welds, the build quality, but we wanna see how it mounts up onto the car to make sure that the fitment is 10 out of 10 because at the end of the day, there's nothing worse than having bad fitment. I'm Alex Martini, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one, adios.
Oh.